everyone be it your passport photo your vacation pictures your selfies your instagram your portraits your headshots the first thing that gets noticed is your face all these apps that clinch your face give you that flawless skin give you a sharper jawline these are popular because we all want this in real life on my channel blush with me i share with you secrets that i followed from my modeling to my motherhood days secrets that help you look picture perfect in reality so today let's target that double chin and that jawline so who's ready to get sharp with me welcome to blush with me these exercises will take a lot lesser time than actually touching up these pictures on those photo apps i want you to give these a try and tell me your thoughts in the comment section below exercise number 1 this is a tongue in cheek situation well of course this is a tongue in cheek situation hold this for about 10 to 20 counts if you can hold it for longer even better when you stretch your right side of your cheek with your tongue you'll actually start feeling a pull on the left side of your jaw and when your tongue is on the left cheek you'll feel the stretch on your right side i'm all about concepts i need reasoning behind everything so if you hold an elastic band and you stretch it 20 times back and forth it's more likely to snap instead if you stretch it and hold it for 20 counts and then bring it back to the starting position there are lesser chances of any damage and i follow the exact same concept for my head to toe exercising So if I am doing any kind of stretch I don't go and bounce 20 times in that stretch I just hold that stretch for 20 count more like yoga So if I'm doing this next exercise you will not see me do this Instead just tilt your head up stretch your jaw towards the ceiling hold it for 20 counts The next exercise is just turn your head from right to left. Turn it to the right and hold it for 20 counts at the same on the left. So when we want to get rid of the double chin area, it's not just one area. It's this whole area that we want to firm up. So in the next exercise, you will notice that you're stretching your sides as well. So look to your right and hold it for 20 counts and then left for 20. I know not all women want such a sharp hard jawline but this exercise in particular is great for men who want to have that really hard chiseled jawline. I think it looks really nice on men especially when they have a little bit of stubble. And once you stretch your neck to one side, clench your teeth and firm up your jaw like so. In my other video where I talked about facial exercises, I had mentioned chewing on fennel seeds. This is a perfect time. So to avoid any kind of discomfort while you're pressing your upper and lower jaw against each other, it's best to chew on fennel seeds. So in this last exercise, I want you to just swallow. When you're swallowing, there is one point where you pull this part in. Hard to explain, but watch me. Just take a gulp. When you're halfway through that gulp, hold it in. Hold when your neck is just sucked in at that point. for 5 to 10 counts whatever you feel comfortable just do not hold your breath when you're doing this exercise make sure there is no tension in your neck just relax continue to breathe this holding this part is what is going to pull it in it is as good as doing planks for your abs If double chin is your problem, then there's no harm trying it. And if it's not yet, even then please start doing it because when you start doing these exercises in your younger years, it helps you keep that elasticity in your skin. It keeps your skin firmer, which is what you want in later years. If any of you were actually following these exercises while you were watching this video, then comment below that you were with me. And for those who haven't yet tried them, give them a shot and let me know your thoughts. If you like my videos and you don't want to miss them then I think it's a good idea to go down and hit that subscribe button and you'll also see a little bell next to it hit that bell 
That way you're notified every week when I post a new video. And some of you might want to look me up on Instagram. Let me make it easy for you. I have two accounts. One is blushwithme underscore Parmita and the second one is Parmita Katkar underscore Photo Factory. I will see you next week. Until then, stay sharp and blush with me. Bye.